Um, without getting into a history a debate, I think our association with Sikhs possibly goes back to the Battle of Trafalgar in 1805, where there's enough evidence to suggest that at least one Sikh in the British fleet in what is an extraordinary historic naval battle for my country, um, merely just to, to, to uh, underscore the depth of the relationship that, uh, that we have uh, with um, the Sikh nation. And uh, over the years, again, to, just to reflect that gallantry, um, 10 Victoria Crosses, which is the equivalent in the United States of the Congressional Medal of Honor, has been won by Sikhs in battle as well. And it's just as hard to win one of those as it is to win a Congressional Medal of Honor, uh, just in case there's a bravery standard at play here. Um, if I may, just to open up, rather than just talk about um, Sikhs particularly, I think it's important to underscore that for the British Defence Forces, um, the approach that we have um, is one that uh, we seek to ensure plays out across all faiths uh, and indeed a much broader orientation as well. For us, diversity um, is, we intend that it is drawn from the breadth of the society that we defend, uh, that we as the Defence Forces gain strength uh, from the range of talents that come from society, and particularly its knowledge, experience, and as I said, talent. And we welcome and respect and value the unique contribution that every individual can make. And for us, equality and diversity, which are the code words that we use, aren't just simply a matter of legislation. And they are, frankly, it is the morally right thing to do, as far as we're concerned. And frankly, it also makes very good business sense. Um, and I think that's worth underscoring. Um, in preparation to speak today, I just I spoke I've spoken the last two days to two very very important people. Uh, one is the Sikh chaplain to British Defence Forces uh, in the United Kingdom, and I also spoke to a Corporal Singh. Uh, for those of you that know my country from Coventry. Uh, and if you know that accent, he couldn't come from anywhere else in the world, frankly, um, who has been in the army for over 10 years in a signal regiment. And it's really about his experience in particular, but also that of Mandeep, the chaplain, uh, that I want to reflect, because I was particularly keen to find out from Corporal Singh whether, if you like, the reality of his life in the services matched the advertising, the things that we claim to do. Um, did his experience reflect that? Um, and I have to say, it's clearly a small sample size of a poll, um, but he was really remarkably positive about the experience that he had had. Uh, and I think there's a key in terms of the armed forces. It was a, he had thought about joining the military, he said to me, for some time, but it was in fact going to a recruiting office where there was a Sikh recruiter um, in the office um, who he was able to talk to, not simply about the issues of joining the armed forces, but was to, to able to talk about the impact on his religion of joining the armed forces as well. And it's clear that that was a remarkably positive experience for him. Um, uh, this, of course, wouldn't apply to everybody, but in the last uh, 15 to 20 years, we have done uh, all that we can do to make people of all faiths feel welcome. To put this in perspective, um, although uh, clearly the United Kingdom is predominantly a Christian country, he was offered the chance to go to Temple, whether he wished to do that, and indeed was actually offered service transport to get him there, because he didn't have a car when he was a young man. Uh, uh, throughout his service, both in training and in the, ser in the military, uh, he has found, uh, he has been very, very well supported by his family, and by his friends, and by his Temple, which I know has been extremely important to him. Um, and he sits in terms of promotion exactly where you would expect a young man or woman of ability and talent. He sits exactly on that spectrum. He himself would met no discrimination. Um, for us, and I know this is often a, a subject of some excitement, um, we have uh, absolutely no uh, issues uh, where uh, uniform is concerned, and indeed commands are specifically directed to be as uh, lenient would be the wrong word, but as flexible as they can uh, in, for example, taking account of the 5Ks uh, and, and the way in which people uh, 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 conduct their business. Um, we are clear, and, and you will be pleased to hear that in a language that only the military can invent for dress regulations, 
Um, we have made what should be a relatively simple subject quite complicated, uh, but in terms of one, the, the issue that often is reflected is um, the one of shaving when one is a pilot, and I'll refer to the or bad the brigadier's experience for that, or when wearing gas masks. We are quite clear um, that, uh, and in general, that um, uh, the appropriate adaptions should be made to ensure predominantly the health and, well, and security of individuals and the commands in which they stand. Um, but there is a great deal of leeway left open to commanding officers um, to behave uh, in a way that they believe is appropriate and respectful. Indeed, talking to the chaplain, um, she was actually concerned that commanding officers were sometimes too willing to assist people to be able to um, mark their faith uh, and be faithful to it, um, which I thought was, a, was an interesting, uh, frankly, turnaround for me. But um, So I think what we have done in, in, in conclusion, we are fortunate to have an extraordinary history and backstory, if you like, uh, with Sikhs, and one that for us has been extraordinarily positive. Um, the way in which we attempt to conduct ourselves today is absolutely underpinned, as I said, by doing not only what is morally right, but something that frankly makes good sense for my country. Um, and, uh, and, and in doing that, we have tried to ensure that while there is clearly a common standard for every young man and woman who seeks to join the military forces, we are as adaptable as we can be within the grounds of good sense and health and safety to make sure that the individual tenants of uh, your faith are respected.